Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Moon Man. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Sometimes in the near future, a massive asteroid called Pi is heading towards Earth, and the entire human race will be destroyed by the collision. This caused the people to begin an international effort to construct the Moon Shield project, where they built a large base onto the lunar surface. The humans plan to use the nuclear weapons to destroy the giant asteroid, and utilizing the moon to block off the remaining debris from hitting Earth. After many years of planning, the people have finally launched off the nuclear missiles, while all the humans humans are celebrating for their victory. However, the main character Dogu is only interested in his commander Xing, who just returned from the launching mission, but the man is turned speechless once again within the woman's presence. The captain sees this and scolds the man for slacking off, before storming off the other way and causing Dogu to go back into his room while thinking of ways to win the woman's approval like a true simp. What he doesn't realize is that a bunch of asteroids are heading towards the base, while the humans have less than 30 minutes to move out. Xing sees this and tells everyone to evacuate immediately as the people begin running away from the building while Doku is completely stuck inside his fantasies. Very soon, the workers have all escaped the base while getting into the massive rockets and launching away from the moon. Doku eventually realizes that something is wrong as he sees the warning screen and immediately rushes towards the outside while trying to catch up to his teammates. However, the men quickly notice that the rockets are launching off already, leaving only one on the ground that's being piloted by Shing. Dogu rushes towards the aircraft immediately as he begins drifting on the surface and driving like he's in Fast and Furious. The man eventually jumps over a gigantic hole on the ground as he flies into the air but ultimately crashes onto the wall instead. As the asteroids approach even closer, Shing is forced to launch off immediately while Dogu finally climbs back onto the surface but only to see that he's already been left behind by all the others. The rocket quickly flies away from the moon while the countless rocks begin dropping onto the surface and destroying everything that's in the way. Dogu sees this and quickly begins running for his life as he tries to escape the bombarding rocks that are causing more explosions than the Michael Bay movies. The man is eventually blown away by the incoming asteroids as he slides across the surface and is lucky to have somehow survived the blast. Dogu sees a nearby crater and rushes towards the hole for coverage but is only knocked away by another asteroid that throws him away like a ragdoll and knocking him unconscious as a result. However, what he doesn't realize is that an even larger threat is hovering over the moon while heading straight towards the blue planet. When the man eventually regains consciousness, he gets up immediately and tries to call the Earth while shouting at his teammates for leaving him behind. Before he can get out all his frustrations, Dogu begins to realize a terrifying truth as he sees a massive asteroid hitting Earth and causing a huge explosion as a result. This completely annihilates the planet's surface while turning the earth into a flaming ball and leaving Dogu completely hopeless on the moon. The man is eventually forced to go back inside the base as he attempts desperately to contact the human race but is unable to get any replies no matter how hard he tries. Dogu soon realizes that he's probably the only human being still alive which forces him into sadness as he tries to honor all his fallen friends. Luckily, the man has enough food to last him until his death, but soon decides to continue being a simp as he blows open the captain's door like a maniac so he can finally get inside the woman's room. This eventually gives him the motivation to finally shave his face and go on to a date with his imaginary girlfriend while eventually getting some bedtime exercises with a piece of cardboard. What the man doesn't realize is that somewhere inside the earth, the people have all survived the asteroid but are having difficulty surviving this horrific display. What's even worse, the chairman Mr. Sun who looks like a warmer version of the X-Men tells the people that they have to broadcast the main character's story towards the world. He thinks that this will give hope to the human race as the people are suffering tremendously from the terrible conditions that are forced upon them right now. However, this plan is very difficult to actualize as Doku is very far from being a role model who has been living like a vermin alongside the piece of paper that he now calls his girlfriend. The main 
character eventually decides to go grab some food, but quickly realizes that something is wrong as the packages were ripped open by someone else. The man carefully walks into the storage and sees what appears to be a curvy silhouette, which causes the man to lose his final brain cells immediately. Dogu tries to flirt with his imagination once again, but only to realize that it's a giant kangaroo named Khan, who's obviously not very happy to see the human. The main character grabs onto a shovel and tries to scare off the animal, but only failing miserably in the process and angering the kangaroo even more. This makes Khan take over the weapon and bends it like it's made from paper, while leaving the main character so beat up that even his imaginary girlfriend doesn't recognize him anymore. However, Doku is not planning to give up so soon, as he tries a different strategy by dressing up like a female kangaroo and posing like he's an Instagram model using countless filters. Surprisingly, this is actually able to trick the kangaroo as it turns the creature into a complete simp, but what the man didn't expect was for the animal to go into third base immediately. This causes Dogu to struggle desperately as Khan tries to make the man into his girlfriend, which ends up knocking off the costume as a result. The animal quickly realizes that all this is fake while kicking the main character right across the room. Even after suffering the numerous embarrassments, Dogu plans to continue the war as he decides to fight with everything that he's got by taking out his gallon gun to finally defeat the enemy. The man whips out his weapon which fires countless plastic balls towards the animal and forcing the kangaroo to retreat immediately away from the area. However, the battle quickly turns while Khan begins to fight back and trapping the man with nowhere to run. This causes Dogu to slap the animal like an angry ex-wife and causing Khan to kick the man flying across the room. The main character eventually gets up and reloads his toy gun before charging towards the kangaroo furiously for the final showdown but only gets slapped around immediately instead. Khan quickly grabs onto the man and begins pounding him continuously before kicking the main character numerous times and knocking them both onto the ground. Luckily, the man is not injured by the attack as he slowly tries to get up but is shocked to see that the communications device is getting a signal from Earth. This allows the man to have hope once again as he thinks that humanity has survived, not realizing that the signal was only caused by the kangaroo's tail as the people from Earth were never able to send him anything at all. However, Dogu finally manages to regain his will to go home as he shows the kangaroo the planet that they have to return to but only gets punched away by the animal instead. After being stuck on the moon for over 200 days, the man is finally able to conjure up a plan as he manages to figure out a way to get off the lunar surface. The main character quickly leaves the building alongside the giant kangaroo and reveals that the mission Apollo 18 actually landed a spacecraft onto the moon. The man goes towards the rocket device and plans on using the vessel to launch him into a nearby space station so that he can use the escape pods to return back to Earth. Dogu eventually brings the giant machine into his building as he begins repairing the vessel by fixing all the broken parts, but the man soon realizes a major problem regarding his plan. It turns out that the rocket is only able to carry 20 pounds of weight, which means that they need to find a different propulsion system. Luckily, the prototype of a nuclear weapon is still on the moon, and they have to retrieve the item to give them the fuel to go home. Dogu immediately heads out alongside the giant kangaroo as they prepare to travel towards the research building on the other side. The people from Earth have also noticed the man's plan to retrieve the bomb, but realizes immediately that it cannot be done. It turns out that the man's vehicle is completely solar powered, but the sun will only shine on the moon's surface for 14 days per lunar cycle, which allows the car to travel 6,500 kilometers. Since the research building is 8,000 kilometers away, this means that Dogu is going to be stranded and freeze to death long before finishing the mission. However, Captain Shing thinks that the people are mistaken as she realizes that Dogu is facing the other way and speculates that the man is actually planning to go the opposite direction. It's quickly revealed that Dogu actually plans on chasing after the sunlight as the moon only rotates at 16 kilometers per hour, which means that the man has 41 days to reach the goal if he goes the other way. The main character heads off immediately as he begins literally raising the sun, but the man only gets 4 hours of sleep per day while trying to use Khan to make him stay awake in any way that's possible. This causes the man to start hallucinating as well, as he begins hearing the kangaroo talking to him. 
and causing him to scream in agony. Luckily, Doku manages to wake up from his dream, but soon realizes that reality may be worse than his nightmare as they fly directly into a giant crater and crashing onto the ground. After many days of perilous driving, the main character eventually manages to arrive towards the facility where the nuclear bomb is located inside. The man goes into the building immediately as he carefully ventures through the hallway that's completely abandoned. Very soon, Dogu is able to find the giant nuclear warhead on the ceiling and slowly lowers the weapon onto the floor. However, what he didn't expect was for the kangaroo to play engineer and begin smashing the control buttons like he was playing Mortal Kombat while making the whole weapon shake violently. This forces Dogu to lock up the animal inside his trunk before heading out once again towards his home base. The man eventually starts going through the rough terrains while he begins playing music to celebrate his victory, not realizing that the trunk has separated from his car while leaving the kangaroo behind. When the main character eventually stops to take a break and goes outside to check on his animal friend, he quickly noticed that the entire wagon has vanished. This forces Dogu to make a very difficult decision as he doesn't have enough time to go back for the kangaroo before the sun sets. Surprisingly, the man is unwilling to let his friend die and begins rushing back for the animal right away while completely disregarding his own life. The main character eventually makes it towards the wagon as he opens the door towards his friend who begins licking the man like a lost puppy. Very soon, the two continues heading towards the base once again as they try their best to not fall asleep but the sun continues moving farther away from their vehicle. After many days of driving, the main character eventually loses the view of the sun completely as their chances for survival begins to vanish just like the fading light. Khan looks at the man hopelessly while the vehicle is forced into its last hours of battery while Dogu has no choice but to turn off the heat to conserve energy. However, no matter how hard he tries, the man cannot defeat physics as the car eventually stops in the middle of nowhere. This ultimately leaves them with 55 kilometers away from their base but they only have 3 hours of oxygen in their tanks. The man decides to come out from the vehicle as he can't do anything else but to wait for his death while regretting not talking to his crush when he had the chance. Before the man can finish reminiscing about his past, he quickly realizes something important as he stares at the giant kangaroo who seems to be attracted to the reflections from his mirror. This immediately gives him a brilliant idea as he breaks open the vehicle's door and begins modifying the tools that he has while eventually creating a sled that's tied onto his animal friend. The man starts focusing his light beams in front of Khan which causes the kangaroo to rush off immediately as Dogu begins sliding across the moon's surface while being pulled by his friend. This allows him to travel very quickly across the moon while the two eventually heads towards a giant cliff on the surface but Dogu tells the kangaroo to jump across without any fear. The two are quickly thrown into the air as they fly over the giant hole while the main character unleashes the gas tanks and propelling the man across like a superhero. Dogu is eventually able to bring back the giant warhead and lowers it onto his table while celebrating his eventual return to planet earth, not realizing that a second asteroid is heading his way. Sometimes later, while thinking about how to modify his rocket to go home, Dogu notices a signal being sent towards the base once again. However, this time he also sees the kangaroo playing with the electrical wires which makes the man realize that the signals were fake from the very start. This causes the main character to fall into sadness as he believes that he's the only surviving human after all. Luckily, the people on earth have also noticed the main character's hopelessness and decided to all act together to show the man that he's not alone. The humans all starts going outside and begins shining their light towards the moon while Dogu looks at the planet and is shocked to see what's happening in front of his eyes. Through all the teamwork of the humans, the people are able to send a message towards the man while showing him that humanity is still alive and causing tears to fall down from the main character's eyes. The man eventually manages to realign the receivers and is finally able to see his friends on earth including the captain herself which causes the man to be engulfed by happiness. Very soon, the people all begin working together as they start figuring out how to reassemble the rocket so it can take the main character home. Luckily, with the help of the entire team, the humans are able to modify the propulsion system by using the atomic weapon. This allows Dogu to begin preparing for his final return to humanity as they begin blasting off away from the lunar 
lunar surface, not realizing that the second asteroid is heading directly for Earth. The main character is eventually able to make it into the orbit as the humans all celebrate for their success, while Dogu quickly manages to attach himself onto the space station as well. As the man begins preparing the vessel and launch off into the escape pods, the captain has received the terrible news about the second asteroid coming their way. It turns out that the giant rock was a piece of the original asteroid that was blown apart, but is now heading towards Earth after its orbit was changed by the collisions. The humans realize that the only person who can save them now is Dogu, as he has the nuclear weapon on board, but this also means putting the man's life in great danger. Captain Shin decides to give the main character the bad news, but surprisingly, the man agrees to the mission right away as he refuses to lose the human race once again, even if it means sacrificing himself. Very soon, the people on Earth quickly goes back into their shelters as they prepare for the worst to happen, while Dogu says goodbye to the kangaroo and putting the animal into the escape pod. The man thanks his friend for helping him through the difficult times while eventually pulling the lever and sending the kangaroo back towards the planet. Dogu cries in sadness as he knows that this will likely be the last time seeing his friend, but the man has a very important job to do as he's the only one capable of saving the entire planet. The main character begins blasting off towards the asteroids as he quickly enters into a cluster of giant rocks while trying desperately to dodge the massive objects. Dogu continues rushing forwards while the environment becomes even more chaotic as the flying projectiles eventually strikes the ship and causing the vessel to spin violently in space. The man tries desperately to stabilize the rocket that's completely out of control and is able to stop the rotation by breaking open the doors and equalizing the pressure. However, when the man goes to check on the status of the ship, he quickly noticed that the engine has been completely destroyed. With no other choice, Dogu decides to manually take the bomb towards the giant asteroid, but this also means sacrificing his own life at the same time. The man eventually goes outside as he unlocks the warhead while pushing the weapon directly towards the massive asteroid that's going to annihilate the human race. Dogu begins using his jackpack as he charges towards the giant rock without any fear while his suit is slowly being destroyed by the countless projectiles. The man eventually manages to arrive towards the asteroid while he imagines the captain for the last time before a huge explosion erupts onto the massive rock and completely destroying it as a result. Very soon, the people are able to exit their shelters as they look up into the sky and realize that they're finally saved by the main character's sacrifice. Many years later, the humans are able to restore Earth and its ecosystems while the giant kangaroo has found its home inside Mother Nature. The people have also decided to eventually go back onto the moon alongside Captain Shin while they continue to watch over and protect the planet Earth. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.